Kentucky. Today I'll be doing the chart of Governor Andrew Cuomo, Governor of New York. Uh, yeah, I really respect him, along with Gavin Newsom, our governor. I'll probably do this chart next, the governor of California. But I just did um, Andrew Cuomo's dad, and I was kind of tying him in. But it, I was reading his father's chart, but I, I made a few references to, to the COVID virus, and I don't even think he was around for that. But anyway, it still, it still was his chart. So this is his son, <laughs> Mario Cuomo's son, Andrew Cuomo, born December 6, 1957, Sagittarius. Uh, we don't have an exact time on him, so it's 12 p.m. New York, New York. New Yorker. Um, yeah, so he has a sun in Sagittarius, 14 degrees. He has the moon in Gemini, communication skills. And he has his, well, we don't have his exact ascendant. This has it as Pisces. But that could change if we have the accurate time. So anyway, but the planets remain the same. And regardless, he pretty much has every, the majority of his planets are in Scorpio, <laughs> in Scorpio and Sagittarius, and he is a very powerful personality, and he is a politician. Um, yeah, he's got a lot going on in Scorpio. He's also a leader. This has it in his sixth house of work, but in Leo, he has Pluto, the ruler of Scorpio. So there's kind of a Scorpio theme going on with him. And Uranus, uh, an unexpected change, and it's the ruler of, of um, the ruler of Aquarius, and so he uses that in his leadership skills. Uh, he is a leader. He's the attorney, attorney general of New York, Mayor of New York, and of course he went to law school like his father, <coughs> and so he is highly educated, and that shows in his. This has him in his ninth house. His mid heaven is Sagittarius. So that would be, and he has Sun conjunct Saturn up there. So he works, he, he's worked very, very hard, I think, to get ahead. It's, you know, Sun, Saturn is serious. It's, it's dead serious. It's like Sagittarius is generally a very jovial sign, very futuristic, forward thinking, uh, mutable fire, so it kind of rolls, you know. But it has a vision for the future. And as a rule, they're, they're very highly educated. And if not, they just have sort of innate wisdom. Uh, having Saturn there, though, his ruler is Jupiter. So having Saturn there kind of puts out some of this fire. But at the same time, it made him rise to the top as a politician. So Saturn could be, you know, working hard to strive to, to get ahead. <laughs> Excuse me, he has Mercury in Capricorn. So again, that's his, his communication skills. Um, his communication skills that he uses in, in, his, in his career. And he has Mercury trining Jupiter, his ruler in Scorpio. So he, I want to get to his Scorpio house. Uh, yeah. So Mercury comes in handy with his career for sure, you know, if you're like a trial lawyer, you know, just, just even now, giving, giving events of the day, you know, Mercury comes in handy. Sun Saturn now is a serious business of giving us like the hard news or, you know, uh, taking New York through crisis is not easy. So, you know, that's, that's what he does. He also has Venus, zero degrees, Aquarius, zero degrees, Aquarius. So that's work, working with groups of people, coordinating with groups of people. It's in conjunct Pluto, so, you know, he's had to deal with a lot of uh, death and transformation and endings and, you know, crisis situations. That would be Pluto, the ruler of Scorpio. And so, uh, Venus zero degrees Aquarius would be groups of people, you know, humanitarian groups of people or, or coordinating them in a leadership capacity because he is 
I almost said he's a Leo. He does have Pluto and Uranus in Leo. Let me just get some honey tea. <clears throat> His Scorpio house is loaded. He has Mars, ruler of Scorpio, giving him ambition, drive, extremely strong will, very strong will. His north node also is in Scorpio. Neptune is in Scorpio. And Jupiter, let me make sure, it's just Jupiter is in 24 degrees Libra. So Jupiter is the ruler of his sun. <clears throat> so that gives him diplomacy skills for one day because it's, it's in Libra. You know, so he, he weighs and balances judgments, you know, it's like the scales in Libra. The scales of justice, so that's, and he's very good at it. You know, he's very good at it. He brings wisdom, knowledge. Um, of course, he's highly educated, so he's able to bring that with some diplomacy. But he also has a hard edge. You know, he just he, he will just tell it like it is. And Sagittarians are so blunt anyway; they can be brutally blunt. You know, like yeah, your hair is ugly today, or you know. Yeah, just, just blurt it out. And Scorpio, too, can have a hard edge. So between those two, um, and he has that whole stellium in, in Scorpio, he can, he can give the, put the message across diplomatically, but at the same time, you know, he's a New Yorker. Of course, he's going to have a hard, hard edge. And so Mars, Mars, Mars and Scorpio, uh, he's got a very complex chart, a lot of Inca junks, um, but he's got some be beautiful trines as well. The trine between the moon and Venus really helps him with his likability, his sociability, his communication. I mean, I like the guy, so I imagine a lot of people like him because Venus in Aquarius is, is working with groups of people. and. and it's attraction. It's attraction. So, you know, that would help him in working with groups. He also has Chiron, the wounded healer, in Aquarius. So, you know, his inner wounding, he, he, he uses that to help, you know, with, with humanitarian endeavors, which he's doing right now. Uh, He's a leader. He was a le definitely a leader in the COVID-19 crisis, and with his very, very strong, very strong personality, Pluto and Uranus in the sixth house. Of, well, I don't know if it's in the sixth house because I don't know how to say it. But anyway, it's a very strong <coughs> personality, forceful personality. And so Mars, Mars and Scorpio, and, and the fire signs, you know, having. Excuse me, six planets, four planets in fire. Yeah, he was, I love the way he was just ordering, not ordering, he was just basically stating the facts, you know, we need this, telling the, the federal gov government, look, we need these things, you know, step up. And yeah, and so, yeah, it turned into this whole thing, like he wasn't being nice, but he, what's to, What's to be nice? It's just when you're stating facts, you know, we need this and this and this for, to deal with this crisis. And so, yeah, he, he has a very forceful personality, but at the same time, he, he really cares about his people. You know, his people are, are New Yorkers, not only New Yorkers, but humanity, you know. Venus, Venus and Aquarius cares about humanity. And his people. Moon in Gemini gives him communication skills. It's in conjunction with his Mercury in Capricorn, and that's going head to head with the authority, you know, trying to get the supplies he needs to to keep people alive in his state, you know, from this pandemic. Um, so going head to head with the authority. That would be Mercury, that would be taking on, taking on, not taking them on, but just saying, hey, you know, 
know, we need we need this stuff, you know, get on it now. <laughs> and so, yeah, so anyway, uh, the authority did, did not like it, but, you know, it's like, yeah, it needed to be, it needed to be expressed. And I would think being, Trump being a fellow New Yorker, that he would really step up for Cuomo. So I don't know, I guess they finally came through, but he, just seeing the mayor of New York literally having to beg for supplies was just heartbreaking. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. So back to his Scorpio house. He has Mars. The North Node is joint finances. He married one of the Kennedys. <laughs> so that's merging joint finances. Um, and his father, too, was a governor. Um, but you know, they, they, he worked his way up. You know, he worked his way up. He, uh, Neptune, Neptune in Scorpio is um, right. Now. Neptune is trying his Mercury, so right now he's just he's just trying to discern facts to, to, to really try to pull facts out of out of the <coughs> out of the air. Literally, you know, it's really hard to get the facts with Neptune. Neptune really can clog things up. It can be deception. Uh, yeah, so he, he's, he's going to make a very, very powerful mark with his personality. He is a powerful leader. Um, what else is going on? Yeah, so he's got a beautiful fire trying though. So he's a very fiery personality, which I like. Even though Saturn sitting on his side kind of puts out the fire, but it does, it did bring him to the top of this field. So. Because his MC, his mid heaven career sector, is also in Sagittarius, so he's living out his, you know, his career, what he, what he is meant to do, and or what he chose to do rather, and the beautiful trying to Uranus in, in Leo. Um, he's having to deal. That's a, that's even though it's a trying, it's supposed to be an easy flying aspect. It's between two difficult planets. Uranus and Leo, the sudden unexpected events, kind of like 9 11 and the, you know, this pandemic COVID 19 crisis that we're in right now. So, having to deal with that in his, in his day to day work and communicate all this erratic, changeable day to day stuff. So it's trining Sun Saturn, and Sun Saturn again is hard. It's hard. Um, it just reminds me of the conference with the bear. He goes, you know, he he was trying to like make nice before he gave you the hard news. I could tell he didn't want to give it. It's very hard for him. But yeah, so. So even though it's trying, Saturn is trying, you know, it's fire, 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 but it's still having to give the hard, unexpected uh, news. Yeah, and govern. It's, it's a very difficult thing, even though it is a trying, but thank God he is a leader. He's a leader and he can lead people through it and explain it, you know, explain it to them through his Mercury and Capricorn, through his political office. Uh, his Jupiter and Libra gives him diplomacy. <laughs> For a New Yorker, right? Yeah. D diplomacy, you know? But at the same time, he has aggression. Like, you know, get it done. Get it done, you know? Um, and I, I respect that about him. I really respect that about him. So, um, I'm just going to jump to his elements, um, Uranus and fire, the sun, Saturn, and the mid heaven are all in Sagittarius, very forward thinking. Also Sagittarius rules its travel, its law, you know, its, its international travel, its educa higher education, its theology, philosophy, all of those things. And so like, he has all those things. Um, 
Yeah, and so it's got a lot of fire, a lot of fire. <laughs> it shows in his personality, but it's got a lot of air to articulate. Um, you have to put it across to people. You have to communicate, you know. If, you, if you're a lawyer, if you're, you know, what was he, attorney general, you have to have really good communication skills. And if you don't, you know, so anyway, he's got Jupiter, Libra, Venus, and Chiron moon to Hilo in, in Aquarius. This has it, this 12th house, but again. Um, so he genuinely cares about humanity, uh, his groups of people. He takes care of his people. He does his, because that's what he likes. He likes to work with different groups of people and coordinate them. And he's good at it. He's good at it especially with his moon in Gemini. So he has the moon trining on Venus, which is very likable, very likable, uh, and very, very good at communication. You know, moon in Gemini is very, very chatty, and Venus in Aquarius is likable. So people, I would think that people would like him. I like him. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and there seems to be two leaders in the U.S., you know, we've got, we've got Cuomo and we've got Newsom, pretty much, pretty, I'm, I'm a Californian, so those, those appear to me to be the two leaders in our states, uh, the main ones, the main ones. Anyway, breaking down his elements, he had his Mercury, Mercury and Earth and Capricorn, Communication, you know, as an authority figure, uh, and Pluto, very strong Pluto. His Pluto, it's actually his Pluto. I'm sorry, is in Virgo. It looked like it was in Leo. You know, if it, if it were the house system, it would be in the sixth house, but it is in Virgo. So, oh my God, he's dealing with just a major, major catastrophic health crisis, um, and Pluto is death, it's, you know, it's uh, transformation, it's power, it's authority, it's, it's very, very strong will. So he has extremely strong Scorpio themes going on in his chart, and he has Pluto in conjunct Venus, so he's having to, you know, to give this hard message to his people. His, as his Aquarius, his Aquarius stuff. So yeah, that's his earth. His water gives him sensitivity, intuition. Uh, but Scorpio water is very, uh, very strong willed. Very, very strong willed. Uh, and, and very sensitive and emotional. And well, I think people like that about him, you know? Uh, it's got Mars, Neptune. Neptune picks up would pick up the sensitivity of, and give him empathy. I think it would give him empathy and a certain that amount of compassion, you know. And spirituality, that's the higher octave of Neptune. Unless you can sing too. <laughs> sing and dance. But yeah, so he's got Mars, Neptune, and the North Node in Scorpio. So born into the family, his dad was a governor, um, and the ascendant is Pisces, if it is Pisces. So he's very, very sensitive and emotional, but at the same time, he's grounded. He's got all the elements going for him, but mostly he's fire and air and water. So that's a really good mix, really good mix. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm not going to... He does have a very complex chart. I'm not going to get into all his transits. He's got a lot of conjuncts going on. Um, but they all add to the dynamic of our personalities. We all have gifts and challenges, and that's what it, that's how we use them is up to us. So you know, uh, anyway, I hope you like this. If you do, please like, subscribe, and share. And um, if you would like your chart read, I'm doing charts, just go to margaretrosanastrology.com. Eventually I'll put a card up or something. Uh, 
Yeah, and just let me know what kind of chart you would like to have done, and I'll be happy to do it. All right, take care. Everybody take care of yourselves. And, uh, yeah, stop the strife in our, our country anyway. All right, take care.